Deji's girlfriend Dunya has been exposed on a live stream for saying a racist remark. I mean, you're black. You're black. You're literally black. Hey guys, how's life? And welcome back to the channel. Now, before we do get into this video, if you could smash subscribe, it really, really does help. If you're enjoying the content, I'm bringing all of the drama as we get it. Jake Paul's dropping a diss track tomorrow. I'll be filling you up with all the details. So smash subscribe. It's absolutely free. No charge at all. Drop a like if you enjoy this video. But enough waffle. Let's get into it. So let's back it up. Deji, brother of KSI. Hilarious content creator. Of course, any fan will know that Deji slash comedy shorts gamer has had his controversies in the past. He's fought with his own brother, dropped a diss track on his own brother. But generally, I feel like the UK has been behind him recently. He's been working really hard, been posting videos about his workout plan ahead of his fight versus Alex Wasabi. Deji always seems to be a little bit more childish than JJ, but of course, he is the younger brother. And if there's a controversy, if there's drama online, Deji seems to be at the forefront of it. Now, Deji's girlfriend, Dunya, has been in a lot of his videos since they started dating. I don't know what it is about her, but since day one, I've not really liked her vibe, to be honest with you. There's no real reason why I would dislike her. She sort of had this bratty personality, I don't know. She's not, I know that if I met her in real life, she wouldn't be someone that I would get on. But she seemed to make Deji happy, and that's the most important thing at the end of the day. Now, it's obviously no question that Dunya is probably grown from being the girlfriend of Deji. But that's bound to happen. You can't blame her for that. There's nothing wrong she's done there. But last night topped it. She was on a live stream, which appeared to be a dating show. My first question is why you're on a dating show. I know it's probably for a video and obviously even the side men have done their Tinder when they've been in relationships. So it is fair enough if it's for content, but still to me, it's a little bit sus, but she was in a bit of content where they were on Discord and it was sort of like a speed dating type thing. The host would bring in a contestant, so a guy and they'd date for a short period of time. Like any dating show, the content is there. So they're gonna try and make each other laugh. They might insult each other or they might hit it off and might have a bit of flirty banter. But what she said has sickened me to my core. I will play the clip now because this is completely inappropriate and shouldn't be online. Fat ass, that, that yeah. fat ass knows how to go too. Low, 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 low. Fat ass nose. Wait, yeah. Fat ass nose. Low, low, I mean, you're black. You're black. You're literally black. Where are you going to talk about fat low, ass low, nose? Low, we can't. Low, all right, all right. Whoa. Okay. We got to chill because we can't. The, the chat's getting way too toxic and like we can't. Talk. So there you see it. So he obviously insults her nose, which obviously isn't great. But I mean, it's a pretty childish comment to start off with. Not really something that should affect you too much. At that point, she's got the opportunity to clap back. This is like on Sidemen Tinder when the guy says like something funny or maybe sort of pokes fun at the girl it's her opportunity to then slam the guy i've seen many responses hilarious responses that have gone viral one of the best pieces of content inside men tinders by the way i hope we get a new one soon but what she said is completely inappropriate she's just clapped back by just sort of calling him black. There's no real way to defend this. Obviously the Black Lives Matter movement and everything that happened sort of during lockdown, the protests. Every time I'm sort of hoping like we're through this, like it's 2022, how can people still be racist? How is racism still a thing? No one should be judged on the color of their skin. Like it's disgusting and vile for anyone to be making any kind of racist comments online. Dunya's not said a slur or, or anything, but what she said is just ignorant and completely disrespectful. So the guy insults her nose and she goes, shut up, you are literally black. Almost using that as an insult. She's cringy as a personality anyway, in my opinion, but to have sort of these viewpoints, especially when you're sort of dating Deji and you've sort of been welcomed into their family, that's almost like an instinctive thing, isn't it? And that's the worrying part for me. It's not the fact that she's made some really poor comeback, which it is a really poor comeback. It's not a comeback, it's just completely racist. But the fact that that would be like on the tip of her tongue almost instantly, when the guy come on and they had the first date, the first thing she noticed was, was that he was black. I don't, can't understand how people and Dunya would be able to think like this at all. It's just completely wrong. The thing that really sickens me is that how quickly she responded, how quickly she went there. She couldn't think of anything creative. She couldn't make a joke out of anything else. And she made the joke about the color of his skin. It's just, it's just disgusting, guys. I mean, I know you'll all agree with me in the comments down below. I don't know about you. I already felt bad vibes from her, watching her in the videos, watching her, sort of her online. I didn't really like her as a person to start off with, but I had no real reason. Now I definitely have a reason. And the hosts of the show can see it straight away. They're like, right, stop it, stop it, stop it. Black, you're literally black. What are you going to talk about? Whoa, 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 we can't. Whoa, whoa. All right, all right. whoa. We got to chill because we can't. <laughs> because they know immediately that what she said is wrong. They know that that's not something she should be saying. That's not something she should be responding. The fact that she try and use that as humor and like a comeback is just so poor. Don't get me wrong. The guy who's like had a go at her nose has obviously hit a nerve. It's not really harmful, is it? It's like she should know a lot better than that. Obviously, she needs to be educated more on that. It's just an absolutely wild one considering, like I said, she's going out with Deji, living with the family all of the time. Personally, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of Dunya, but 
We'll see. She needs to apologize properly for this and she needs to learn. Content and influencers are responsible for what they say and what they say online. As much as she might not have the biggest platform in the world, because of Deji, she almost has 10 million people that know of her. She can't be saying things like this online. Kids might go, oh, look, Dunya said this was a, as a comeback. I'm going to go say it at school. You, we don't want that. We don't want to spread this this hate. We'll sort of see what the fallout of this is because Deji probably watching that probably feels sick himself, doesn't he? And hello, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Personally, it just sickens me what she said. It really does help me out if you could drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed the content and subscribe for more. Stick around. Jake Paul's dropping a diss track tomorrow. I'm going to be bringing you up to date with all the content. Go on, it's absolutely free. Smash it. I'll give you a minute. Hit subscribe, drop a like, I'll see you next time.